And new tonight, her glitz and glamour hid years of abuse. I was told that I was very dumb and stupid. Now she's turning pain to purpose and helping others through her model behavior. Hello and welcome. I'm Craig Stevens. I'm Belkis Nare. The news at 10 starts right now. This is 7 News at 10. New here tonight, a former South Florida model says her life of glitz and glamour was hiding years of abuse. Now she's turning her pain into purpose. The night team's Jessica Holly shows us her model behavior. Since the age of 15, Somi has graced hundreds of movie screens and magazines. Growing up, she seemed to have it all. My father was a film producer in Pakistan and a director. We lived in a 26-bedroom mansion, and so I grew up very wealthy. But her life behind the glamour and money was filled with abuse and fear. My brother and I were victims of sexual abuse. I was abused by the house help at age five. There was another incident when I was nine. Somi says no amount of money or fame could heal her wounds, so she turned to helping others. I've done the designer clothes and the designer purses, and I've lived that life, and it didn't do anything for me. Somi took all of her savings and started No More Tears, an organization that helps victims get back on their feet. Getting them a job, attorneys, medical assistants, um, OBGYN, many of them have never been to a dentist. That support is exactly what Maya needed. She's hiding her face as a victim of sex trafficking, but she is not hiding her story. This is my first time ever saying it in public and definitely on camera. As a teen, Maya was forced into sex trafficking by her family. She worked the streets across the southeast, including right here in Miami Beach. It was all she knew, but when she was almost killed, she found a way out. I had a guy put a gun to my head and when that happened, it was just like a reality flash for me. Miami police were able to get Maya away from her captors, but she was left with only the clothes on her back. I didn't know how I could get my identification back. I didn't know how I could get a place to stay. I didn't know how I could get my next meal. I had nothing, absolutely nothing. Look what we have. Oh my goodness, thank you. Okay. No More Tears found Maya a home took her to the doctor and gave her supplies to get her new life started. And Somi became the family Maya never had. For her to actually hand me, you know, things to help me and just give them to me freely was really a shock. Somi has been recognized many times for her work, but none of those awards mean as much as the feeling she gets from helping victims get their lives back. This was given to me by two little girls that were victims of severe abuse. It, it just makes me severely happy. Reporting in Miami Beach, Jessica Holly, 7 News. Well, No More Tears has a fundraising event in Fort Lauderdale later this month. For more information, visit WSVN.com. Trying to really make some changes out there. Good yeah, for that. Turn that pain into a real purpose.